Hi, welcome to Lala's World. Today we're going to talk about how to make money on the internet. I'm going to go over a variety of different ways. I won't go into detail with each individual method, but if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or would like me to go into more detail, leave a comment down below. Also, be sure to click subscribe and then click the notification bell so you'll know when more tutorials come out. Number one on the list is greeting card companies. Some greeting card companies accept submissions online for phrases, puns, poems, art, and photography, and will pay you when you use it. Blue Mountain Arts accepts submissions. On their site, they give guidelines for what they're looking for and what they're not looking for. Once you have your material, you can email them at editorial at sps.com. The next greeting card company is Calypso. After reviewing the information on their site, you can submit to submissions at calypsocards.com. The last greeting card company in this video is Noble Works. You can fill out their form for the submission guidelines and then send them an email at support at nobleworkscards.com. The number two method is narrate audiobooks. With ACX.com, you can publish your own audiobook or just narrate. Their website has all the steps to get paid for either option. Next is Voice Bunny. You would simply go to the website and click Join Now. Lastly, on narration, there is Voices.com. From here, they give you all the information for getting paid on narration. Number three is to make YouTube videos. When you reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, you're eligible to apply to get your channel monetized on YouTube. You can do ads from AdSense or Super Chats with your subscribers. Another option to get paid on YouTube is to create content that is sponsored by companies. You can use a website called FameBit or a website called Grapevine. They basically pay you to talk about their products or services in your video. Number four, is remote jobs. Well-known companies often have work from home positions. Amex has a section on their website for virtual careers. Amazon has a section and Apple has a section. Number five is to become an online notary. There are a few companies out there that offer online notary services. Doc Verify is one of them. There are also apps available to deliver online notary services. The first step would be to become a certified notary in your state locally. And then once you get certified, apply to online notary websites and apps. Number six is freelance. There are a number of websites that have freelance platforms. Upwork is one of them. You can offer web and mobile development, design, writing, admin, customer service, marketing, accounting, and more. Another site is Fiverr. On here, you create what they call a gig and you set a price. The lowest price you can set is $5 for however much work you're willing to do for $5. And of course, you can go higher if you want for what you're willing to offer for your set price. Number seven is self-publishing. Amazon Kindle offers self-publishing for eBooks and it's free. You basically can publish your own written material and make sales online with Amazon. Number eight is also through Amazon. Micro jobs. Amazon Mechanical Turk is basically a site that allows you to complete small tasks with a small set price. When I do this, I usually sort through prices to make them from largest to smallest, and then sort them again for work that I qualify for to take away items that I'm not eligible for, just since there's so many on the website. Also, the more tasks you complete, the more tasks you qualify for. Number nine is selling stock photos. There are a number of websites that you can sell your pictures to. iStock, Shutterstock, and 123RF. Number 10 is Cash App Referral. I personally made an entire video on how I made 1200 using Cash App and referring people to the app. I used YouTube videos, coupon websites, and social media. For details, be sure to check out my video in my video section. 
Number 11 is Pinterest. You can make money on Pinterest with affiliate marketing. A site that I like to use is called Shop Style Collective. They're allowed on Pinterest and basically for every order that gets clicked or if someone decides to make a purchase, you get a small commission. Basically, you pin the pins with the link and when someone goes directly from your link, that's how you get paid. Number 12 is blogging. You can create your own blog and put ads on your website or affiliate links. Google AdSense is how you can get ads on your website and there's different affiliate marketing websites out there. Most large companies have an affiliate site. You just have to scroll usually to the bottom of the page and it'll have affiliate partners. Number 13 is to sell products. Amazon is another company that allows you to sell handmade products. Etsy is another website that allows you to make handmade products and sell them. One other thing you can do is come up with t-shirt designs and sell them on Teespring. I mentioned these three sites because you don't have to spend a lot of money upfront purchasing wholesale products. Well, thanks for watching how to make money on the internet and I hope these ideas are helpful. So if so, hit the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe, share, and check out the other videos on this channel.